This case should never have come to trial. I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds. Because one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery, of a sham, of a mockery, of a travesty, of two mockeries, of a sham. If we are to have faith in justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. Well, I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth! Hello, everybody. It's time for more Law Light. Brought to you by Foreman Watson Holtry. We are... In the high-rise white brick edifice at you 5.30. said it right that time. You got it, man. I nailed it. <laughs> no uh, speech impediment this week. <laughs> um, and uh, we're in the high-rise white brick edifice in the library studio, PJ and I. Um, we are going to tell you just uh, in advance, this is an abbreviated podcast mm-hmm. due to scheduling issues. Spoiler alert. And um, so um, bear with us. And, and, and PJ, we're just going to jump right in because this is going to need to be a short episode. So we've just got a lot on our schedule and vacations coming up and things like that. So I, I want to uh, just recount the occurrences of here in the office yesterday. Um, I I had a um, I had an appointment with a client that oh, no no a potential client it was a person it was a potentially a client who was not exactly enamored by what I told her. Okay. I, I, I said, you know, we're just not going to be able to help you. I tried to help her with a couple of things that she may be able to do to, to lighten the impact of what had happened and tried to direct her and was, you know, very professional and nice and uh, tried to be compassionate. But the more it went, the more aggravated she got with me for not being willing to take her case. And so she like picked up her things and Kind of just wasn't real happy with me when she left. I'm just going to say that. Right. So I, I get That's a, why you should never try to take your wife on as so, a client. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a good one. Um, so I, I get upstairs, you know, and I, anytime something goes like that, you're like, oh, gosh, you know, what is she going to go out and say about me? Or, you know, because we really try hard to to help everybody that, that comes here, and we can't always do that. Right. right. Yeah. And so um, – a few minutes pass, and I get this phone. Or they call me on the phone and say, "Hey, hey, Travis, you know um, that lady that you just met with? Um, well, her car won't start, and she's out in the parking lot, and she needs to have her car jumped." And so I was like, um, "All right, well, is there nobody else in our building that knows how to, you know, attach jumper cables to a car and uh-huh. um, start it right up?" And they said, "Well, we asked." PJ and <laughs> <laughs> they did and PJ says well he's not really that he didn't he skipped that part of man class or something like that so it was yeah what did you say exactly well um I believe Michelle was who called me and she said that about the jumper cables and everything and I said well I don't have any jumper cables. she did and she goes well I think we can find some and I said well here's the the deal. I said, I am not a man's man. I I said, one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to electrocute myself or I'm going to hook, because there is a wrong way you can hook them up and like blow the batteries. I said, that's a very strong potential situation. And I said, so I'm probably the last person you really want to be jumping your cables or batteries. (laughs) Yeah. So she was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. She, she was like, I really don't know uh, how to do it either. And then she moved on. But yeah, so uh, I had a feeling. Well, she moved on and, and it made its way finally to me. <laughs> and so here I'm thinking, okay, you know, um, I've got this, um, this, this lady out here who wasn't real happy with me, but I'm going to go out and, and when oh. I, when I go out there to jump her car, she was very friendly and very nice and very appreciative right. because, um, I helped her and we got her car started up, but I came back in and this is, this is basically what I want to address on this abbreviated version of the podcast. Right. I have decided that we are going to hold a class. Another one? A class where anybody... (laughs) Yeah, you went through one yesterday. (laughs) We went through the internet class? Internet class yesterday. That was informative yesterday. Yeah, that was really interesting. um, As to how many... 
false attempt emails we block on a daily basis. That's it insane. Is over 300 a day we are averaging having to reject because of fraudulent attempts right. to get information. or to They just want to tell you about your car's extended warranty. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a second class then, yes. And it's not going to be indoors. We're going to have an interactive learning class. And right. anyone can attend. How to pee standing up 101. I'm going to give you front row <laughs> seats to it. Front row. You're going to you're going to be the And you're going to actually be the one to demonstrate whether or not you got it. Okay? And it's going to be real simple. We're going to... Um, we're going to have a, a makeshift battery. This is making my eye twitch. Right, I can see. And, and we're going to teach you how to properly attach jumper cables and how to jump a car. Okay. Well, they are color coordinated. Right? Color coordinated, but some 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 cars like the one yesterday, both ca both of the cables attaching to the battery, the ba it the the battery has these ports, and you have these wires that come up and attach to the ports. Right. And a lot of times they're red and black, which is okay, red and black. But that one, both of them were black. So you have to look on the battery, and it shows a negative and a positive. And so your positive <laughs> is always going to be hot, red. Okay. And your negative is your black. Okay. okay. So you're going to put the red on the positive. So if it's not always marked red and black, you look for the little positive sign and the negative sign, and you know red goes on positive. And it's, it's real simple. It's real simple. You attach to the dead battery first, then you attach to the live car, and the car is already running. And then you let the car run for a while to juice, get some juice over there, and boom, you hit it, and it should start if it's a battery. But we're going to have a class, and I'm going to let anyone who has never done this attend because I think it's very important, PJ, that you be able to jumpstart your own car, okay? Okay. Now, if, if you do good in that class, we are going to have a third class, and it's going to be tire changing. I, I do know how to change tires, there. and I know how to change brakes. or br I'm sorry, brake pads. Brake pads, okay. And well, I've removed and switched out an alternator on a car before as well. Well, you're advanced. I can't believe you wouldn't be able to do the battery. Yeah. Although last week I kept calling the alternator the carburetor. Yeah, that's a problem. But I meant alternator. Okay. And I was talking to Leslie. I was like, the carburetor is what charges the battery so your battery doesn't lose as much juice. And she goes, I think you mean the alternator, which is what I meant. Well, we're going to have this class after fall break. I'm going to do it. It's going right out here in the parking lot. Anybody that wants to attend is going to be allowed to attend. And we're going to teach everybody how to do this. Okay. We'll have to bring Vincent back just so he can take photos. <laughs> they would be blurry. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, shots fired. And the last thing I want to talk about is <laughs> is um, that I hope I hope you have a fantastic vacation. Thank you. And I'm going to miss you. But go have fun, unwind, and um, come back ready to work. Oh, I, I absolutely. All I'm right. going without my children. Okay. And I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, I, mean, I love my kids. I'm not. No, sure. You're going to be able to. Yeah. Oh, real quick. I wanted to tell you this. I don't know if you've ever had this done, but uh, I had my nose hairs waxed. How'd it go? It was interesting. Does it hurt when they yank it out? Uh, one nostril did. The other one, not so I can't, much. I, I'm real touchy about my nose. Well, you have to tilt your head back and they it's a uh, wax on the hot. end of a popsicle stick it's warm it's not i wouldn't say it's hot but and it's then warm it dries. they they shove it in your nostril oh no i couldn't do it and the whole time i'm going is this not going to start to ooze back into my nasal cavity leslie's the one who did it because she wanted to do it she wanted to torture me she's a sadist yeah, i couldn't and, do it but it doesn't it doesn't like start to run down the back you know the nose hair trimmers that go like that yeah I, I, like when mine touch the rim of my nose my eyes start watering oh, yeah. I'm, I'm those a, things suck they rip a, the hairs I'm out. i'm a sissy baby when it comes to sticking hair removal devices yeah. up my nose well my eyes watered when she put the sticks with the hot wax in but it's warm yeah. it's not hot but it's still yeah, I'm gonna. I'm skipping the waxing of the nose. Okay, I'm skipping it. Yeah, but the inside of my nose feels well, like care. a baby's butt. No, yeah, I don't want to feel it, <laughs> and I trust you. So see, that's why we don't need to worry about doing it to me. All right, you may not be able to jump a car, but you'll let them put hot wax up your nose. You know, we gotta live a little. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, it's been the most interesting law light ever. 
we talk about jumper cables and nose wax. Waxing your nose. Nose wax sounds like a condition. Have fun on fall break. I will. Thank you. And for everybody else fall breaking it, please, please, please uh, be safe traveling. Be safe where you're at. Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. Do not. We Hey, just by the way, our firm picks up three or four cases a year from people from Owensboro that are down in either Panama City, Destin for fall break, and they're involved in some kind of a wreck, and we, we have to help with Florida, get a Florida attorney involved. And, and so just just be safe uh lots of people moving that going that way lots of traveling so just uh but good luck to you thank you have fun with that <laughs> no <laughs> i don't know i've never been to fort walton is oh that, it's nice yeah it's is absolutely it busy, is it busy though yeah it's not as bad as some you know you won't be very far away for, at all from my favorite beach called navarre beach so okay. if you have you may want to run down to navarre it's about a 20 minute drive from fort walton okay go down to navarre and eat at the uh front porch what it's called porch. it's a little hole in the wall it's okay. Right, okay. A, it's right across from the main bridge in Navarre. You can't miss it. All right. Okay? Leslie, remember that. Front porch. The front porch. You will thank me. It's indigenous food. Have you ever eaten at a place called Fockers? No. it's. I've heard that in the movie. I had to, I had to make sure I was saying it right because I was worried I was going to slip up and say something else. But it's like a, I want to say it's like a pizza place. Oh, no, I haven't. I think I've heard of it, though. Okay. All right. This has been Law Light, brought to you by Foreman Watson Holtry, a very abbreviated version because it is fall break, and we uh, just want uh, to uh, move along. But we promise the next one won't be abbreviated. <laughs> Thank you for listening. God bless. This case should never have come to trial. I don't think it's fair to call my clients frauds, because one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. This trial is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery, of a sham, of a mockery, of a travesty, of two mockeries, of a sham. If we are to have faith and justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And the truth shall set you free! How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. Well, I think the truth will come forth. You can't handle the truth!